Hi guys, welcome back to another Hacker Rank series. And today we are going to do this question called recursive digit sum. So this question is, uh, it, even though they suggest recursive, I typically don't use recursion for these Hacker Ranks because recursion is typically more space complex, uh, more, like it's more expensive in terms of how much space it allocates because we need to keep creating the arrays and et cetera. So, I feel like this question can be done even without a recursive loop. And yeah, so this is how I will approach the question. Basically to explain the question in simple terms, they give us a digit and a number, and this number multiplies this digit, this sequence by that many times. So 9875 becomes 9875 four times. So it becomes a super long number. And what they're expecting us to do is they're expecting to like, uh, traverse through all the items inside the list, inside the string, the sequence, and sum them together and keep doing the, like keep repeating the process until we get a single digit number. And at that point, we return that single digit number as the super digit, so to speak. So um, a few things to note. The first part is trying to get this mega number, like big this big number, we can, just take a string and multiply that by four, or we can find the sum of this and then multiply that by four to get the first sum, which is one, one, six in this case, uh, which I think is so much um, better because to traverse through this, it would be like n times k time complexity, like length of n times k, which is much more expensive than just uh, whatever, right? by traversing this through like in n, n time complexity, n, and then multiply by just another constant time complexity. So that is so much better than traversing through the expanded long uh, number string, number sequence. Okay, that was a slightly long-winded explanation for this question. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to first sum this and then multiply that by four. So let's jump straight into that. I want to create a new variable called summer, and I'm going to sum all the items inside by doing this digit sum int digit in n for digit in n. If I'm not wrong, this should be giving us what I'm expecting summer let me just check if i'm in the right track so this should be printing out the sum of so uh yeah one plus four plus eight which is 13 so that's what i get over here so yeah uh, our initial summing of all the items inside the inside any sequence works this this item works so now all i need to do is i need to multiply this by k and i need to make this into a string why do we need to make this into a string? Is cause we are in the end trying to see the, make sure that the length of the final digit that we're uh, returning is one. And you cannot find the length of an integer, you can only find the length of a string. That's why I'm converting that back into a string. And with that, what I'm going to do is I'm creating a while loop to mimic the recursive nature of the question. So while uh, summer, uh, while the length of summer is equal sign, equal sign one. Okay, sorry, my bad. While the length is not equal to one, that means it's bigger than one. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to traverse through this thing again. I, like I need someone to traverse through the whole thing again. So summer is equal to whatever I got over here minus the k because I, i'm not going to multiply by k after that so i am and it, this time it's not in n it's in summer in itself so what i'm doing is if the length of the sum is bigger than one that means the length of the string version of this is bigger than one i'm going through the whole process again of going through each digit like i'm summing the integer digits for each digit in summer that way I will get this value and I'll convert that back into string. 
and if the string value if the length of that is lesser than if the thing is equal to one that means i know i've reached my um i've reached my exiting condition and hence i will return that and this time i'll just return the integer version of that and that should suffice if i'm not wrong like i know i might not have explained all the parts clearly but this is a really neat way of doing it by because python has this inbuilt str and int fun, uh, int operation for us it's super duper uh, helpful in other languages you're not able to convert them back and forth from string to integer to integer to string that easily but in python you're able to do so so let's just make use of that and yeah so let's try submitting it hopefully i don't fail any test cases and yep wonderful it passed all the test cases and this operates at a a pretty efficient time complexity uh, the most comp uh, the the biggest challenges have been shaved off by doing this. Like we don't traverse through the long sequence, but instead we traverse through the short sequence and then just multiply that by k value. And yeah, uh, the rest of the questions, as I explained, the uh, rest of the parts of the questions, as I explained, is quite time efficient as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for staying all the way. Bye.